Charles Gido Muigai, the advocate representing IEBC, and Fred Ngatia, representing President-elect William Ruto, built a defense on the issues of Juan Jose Camargo, a Venezuelan national accused of altering presidential results on the IEBC portal. Let's take a look at this particular compilation by Cecilia Lubanga. To the court, the original form, 34A, Yes, you can see. It's okay. You can. I Pressure continued to pile in court on Friday in the run-up to 5th September when the final verdict of the presidential petition will be rendered. Senior counsel Gido Muigai, an IABC advocate, and senior counsel Alfred Ngachia, representing President-elect William Ruto, among the battalion of lawyers giving their rejoinders in response to queries by the judges and their various opponents in the court battle. Senior counsel Gidu Mugai, defending the issue of Juan Jose Camargo, alleged to be part of the human interference in the 9th August election, with the opponents presenting new evidence showing the Venezuela's hand in the irregularities and illegalities see to have marred the elections. The physical form 34A presented in court by counsel Mugai was met by objections from the Orengo-led team, saying the documents is not in question, but the election process that is said to have been marred by massive irregularities. Objection is and his own ground that he needs to be replying to something that he had never known. He has, that picture was taken from the portal of the IBC. So he's not taken by surprise because it's their own picture on their own portal and it's still there now as we talk, as we object. Either we practice law the way we understand the law or anybody can confront the court with any document at any time. I understood Mrs. Soweto to be giving an explanation in response to a question by the court. And similarly, Mr. Mohammed was responding to question by the court. And therefore, he had some latitude. But now we are entering a different universe where he is now going to produce evidence He's saying how the picture was taken. There is no certificate, and this is electronic evidence. What we are trying to do is to show you documents in our own affidavits in response to documents produced from the bar. Ms. Soweto, Ms. Soweto never produced the document she showed you in any of her affidavits. When we now invite you to look at the original and to make the argument that my learned friend is about to make, that there is a deliberate misrepresentation of what the original document looked like. So we are treated to this attempt to block that fact from the court. Mugai directed the court to critically scrutinize the matter, reviewing the evidence as he termed the matter a witch hunt. On his part, Counsel Fred Ngachia raised concerns over an alleged victimization of his client, stating he will be the sole loser if the elections are annulled. A lot of what Mr. Mahat was saying was actually giving evidence. He was talking using the word we, this is how we do it. The trajectory which he is taking without a witness to tell us the kind of information it's going to give us, is going to put the court in a very difficult position. I think he should transform himself to a witness and we begin to cross-examine him. The Ruto leading counsel called upon the court to review critically the certified Form 34As and if they lacked the name Jose Camargo, as highlighted by the court opponents, the accusation should be dismissed. On the issue of emergence of a Form 34A signed way before the election's date, an accusation leveled against IEBC got a term the incident an innocent human error. We deserve our right to object to that document filed by my learned friends. First, because it was filed without leave. Secondly, because no other party has had the opportunity to do the same. Thirdly, because from what we hear now, it may very well contain falsified documents. Following a three-day petition hearing since Wednesday, the judges are scheduled to retire today to prepare for the decision, which is scheduled to be delivered on Monday, September 5th. Cecilia Lubanga, Lookup TV, Nairobi.